At 125, the motorcade moves into the downtown area. Death is six minutes away. In a warehouse, a sniper with a rifle poised waits. What has really shifted, though, for the 60th anniversary is the um, sad but inevitable loss of storytellers. So many of the voices that were here even 10 years ago to share their memories, law enforcement officials, reporters, eyewitnesses, so many of those folks have, uh, have passed away. I was just with a great mass of other reporters, just trying to find any bit of information. And it was just the wild, crazy, chaotic, unfathomable scene. It was nothing but commotion, and I couldn't have avoided it. And I must have heard the gunshot, too, but I just thought of, I've just blanked all that out. I just said, I got to get to a phone. She's a terrific example of somebody who was just where the action was that weekend and got caught up in truly historic events while simply doing her job as a professional journalist. Those voices from history are, are, rapidly, um, are rapidly fading away, which makes the stories that we preserve here at the museum, I think, all the more significant.